Good afternoon, good afternoon. What we're going to look at today is just to describe a word called correlation. Now, correlation is a link between two separate items or variables and it measures um, or describes a relationship about between the two of them. Um, let's have a little look here. Here we've got uh, on this axis going up here, we've got the value of a, of a car, and then as we go along, we've got the age of the car in years. As you can see, we've got all these um, crosses plotted up, um, along here on the, on the graph itself, and they're going in a downhill manner. Now, that's, if it's going downhill, that's going to be called something called negative Correlation, so we can see it's going roughly in a, in a line going downwards. Now, what that means is, is that the older the car gets, the less value it's going to get. So you'd be able to sell it for less. So the, the older the car gets, the less value it gets. And where we've got this downward trend, that's what we call negative correlation. Okay, let's have a look at this graph here. Here we've got a graph um, it's saying ice creams that are sold going upwards and across is the temperature in degrees C. So, as you can see here, this time the line is sort of going upwards or the, the crosses are upwards. We're just drawing a sort of a, a line uh, there to, just, uh, to do a general summary of them. So the ice creams sold um, go up as the temperature go up, which is what you'd, you'd think really, the hotter days, you'll sell more ice creams. So, as um, the, the line is going upwards, we call that positive correlation. So we've got negative correlation, where one thing is going up, where the other thing is going down, and positive, where both things are going up at the same time. Over here, we've got um, all the crosses are everywhere, and I really can't sort of get a line to describe a general trend on that. So that is called no correlation. So if there's no pattern, we describe it as having no correlation. So what they're saying here is they're trying to measure the height of a person, or comparing the height of a person, to their IQ. That's how brainy they are. And what it's saying is that how tall you are has got absolutely nothing at all to, be, to do with how brainy you are. Okay? So, um, no correlation, no link between height and intelligence. The final one here, um, we'll just see, we, it's a, a link between two tests here. Um, then we can see straight away that the line we draw is a sort of a trend line like that, and that would be negative, isn't it? Um, the example here is a person setting two tests and what they're saying is, is um, their test two mark is high, their test one mark is low. So the better they perform on one of the tests, the worse they perform on the other. So those are uh, links to three types of correlation. Negative, that's going down when there's, uh, one's going up, the other's going down. Positive, when both are moving in the same direction. And no correlation, when there's no link between the two variables at all.